Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to Turn the Page Tuesdays. So now that it's almost time for bed, make sure that you take care of all of those bedtime routines. Parents, now's the time to pause your device for the children to be able to go ahead and do that. Good evening, boys and girls. Tonight I am here with Mr. Eric Mahomes of the Flowers Baking Company, and they are located right near Redner's um, and the Oxhaven Apartments. They sit back further, um, and um, the public, which is uh, all of all of you and even me, um, we really don't have access to being here. It's a it is a baking company, but they they do a lot of production of um, breads and and snack cakes and things like that. So, um, Mr. Mahomes, what do you actually do in the Flowers Baking Company business? I'm the assistant HR business partner here, and um, we take care of all the employee needs uh, from hiring, interviewing, hiring, and uh, everything in between, um, benefits, orientation, uh, all the way up to termination and retirement. And what sort of jobs could you hold um, at the, what, what kind of job opportunities are there here at Flowers Baking Company? We have production technician, general production operators. Um, general production operators work on our honey bun lines. Um, production technicians work on our bun and bread lines. And then we have maintenance engineers. Uh, we have lots of engineers. Uh, majority of them are production technicians, though. So, boys and girls, you can do so much here um, within the Flowers Bank Baking Company, as Mr. Owen said. You can um, work at on the factory line, um, and you can also work at. Um, so you could um, pack it, package and produce, which uh, with, um, with with baking, which you actually would they do baking. Yes. Okay. Um, what sort of things do do they do they bake here? on this site in Oxford? We uh, bake honey buns um, as far as the snack cakes and then the rest of it is bread from um, Nature's Own, Cobblestone, Wonder, Home Pride. Um, those are our major brands that we, we produce. We do a lot of private label product as well, but those are the major bread brands that we produce here. Okay, so boys and girls, um, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Flowers Baking Company, it's also tasty cake, so you'll see some of that on the shelves in the stores. Um, and when you see um, products like bread, like Nature's Own and Wonder, that's also made right here in Oxford, in our Oxford community. And those smells that you smell, sometimes early in the morning, smells that smell so good, those are actually the honey buns baking. So that's really, really a cool thing about living here in the Oxford community. I hear this uh, this evening, actually, before we go into um, your reading, um, do you have to um, know how to read for your job? Absolutely. What sort of things do you have to read for your job? Um, majority of our stuff come through emails, but um, you have to look at the resumes for orientation, uh, for scanning those individuals that have applied. Uh, so you have to read all that information, um, look at the dates on there to make sure that uh, the employment dates are uh, viable and, and um, have a good history on them. And if you were on the, the baking side, the, uh, in the factory side, what would you have to, what would you have to know how to read? Absolutely. It's, it's a requirement. It's a minimum requirement okay. for all of our positions. And what sort of things would you have to read on that side of, of the job? You have to look at all the ingredient lists, so you have to know how much uh, flour and sugar to put in each dough and each batch of product that you're making. So uh, reading is an integral part. It wouldn't be possible for you to work here if you did not read. And do you like to read yourself? I do. I enjoy reading. Okay. Uh, I, I, I understand before we started filming that Mr. Mahomes is also a resident of Oxford. He lives in Oxford. How long have you lived here? Seven years. Seven years. Great. Well, I hear you brought with you this evening bunny cakes. Uh, we can't wait to hear that story. Fantastic. Thank you. 
Bunny Cakes by Rosemary Wells. Bunny Cakes by Rosemary Wells. It was Grandma's birthday. Max made her an earthworm birthday cake. No, Max, said Max's sister Ruby. We're going to make Grandma an angel surprise cake with raspberry fluff filling. Don't touch anything, Max, said Ruby. But it was too late. Max sent, uh, Ruby sent Max to the store with a list that said eggs. Max wanted red hot marshmallow squirters for his earthworm cake, so he wrote red hot marshmallow squirters on the list. The grocer could not read Max's handwriting. Eggs, said the grocer. He gave Max eggs. Max brought the eggs home to Ruby. Don't bump the table, Max, said Ruby. But it was too late. Max sent, Ruby sent Max back to the store with a list that said milk. This time, Max wrote red hot marshmallow squirters in a different way. Max hoped and hoped for his squirters, but the grocer still couldn't read Max's writing. Milk, said the grocer, and he gave Max milk. Max brought the milk home to Ruby. There's a yellow line on the floor, Max, said Ruby. You can't step over that line. But Max crossed the line anyway. Over went the flower. Ruby got out her pencil. This time, Max wrote red hot marshmallow squirters in the most beautiful writing he knew. Max could almost taste the marshmallow squirters. Flour, said the grocer, and he gave Max flour. When Max got home, there was a sign on the kitchen door. Max, the kitchen is no place for you, said Ruby. Ruby finished up her cake. She baked it and cooled it and iced it with raspberry fluff frosting. It needs something else, Max, said Ruby. Birthday candles, silver stars, sugar hearts, buttercream roses, wrote Ruby. Meanwhile, Max had a brand new idea. He drew a picture of red hot marshmallow squirters on Ruby's list and ran to the grocer. He couldn't wait. Birthday candles, silver stars, sugar hearts, buttercream roses, said the grocer. What's this? Why, it must be red hot marshmallow squirters. Ruby's cake looked just beautiful. Max went out and put caterpillar icing on his earthworm cake. Grandma was so thrilled she didn't know which cake to eat first. So boys and girls, they make uh, 10,000 loaves of bread an hour here at Flowers Baking Company. 10,000 loaves an hour. That's a lot.
I hope you enjoyed that book by our special guest. Now it's time for bed. Good night, everyone. We'll see you in the morning.